In this video, we are going to look at how we can use the color mode to identify which points in the scene are higher than a set elevation value. In this case, there is a saw table in the middle of the room which has an extraction unit above it. We would like to understand whether it or other points in the scene are below that elevation from the top of the floor. Going up to the display settings, then color mode, we can find a range of coloring options. We will be using by elevation. Immediately, you can see the coloring of the points as per the color legend on the left. Using the edit button on the legend, we can create a new gradient, which will be renamed. Because the gradient ramp needs to be fairly exact, not smooth as it currently is, it is going to be changed to steps. This now shows us exactly where the changes in the elevation are. This currently shows numerous elevation values and their colors, but we ultimately only require a single color change which will be at the exact elevation value we require. To reduce the number of steps, we simply drag the markers which aren't required from the legend. The remaining marker can now be dragged to change its elevation value but the values we want to set need to be as accurate as possible. To do this, we first need to understand what our base or minimum elevation is. You can see that it is currently minus three meters. Using the target, a new minimum elevation will be set. But as we can see, even this is still not correctly set to a value of zero. This is because the scene's origin is not in the correct location. Going up to the display settings, then points, the origin can be updated. Clicking in the same location as last time, the origin is now moved, and pressing enter will confirm its placement. We go back to the legend and edit, and set it back to steps. Going back to the range, the minimum elevation target is set again on the floor in the scene. Double clicking the gradient marker, will open its properties where the exact elevation value of the color change is set, in this case to 3 meters. The color mode can now be saved. You'll notice that the extraction unit on the ceiling has its underside encroaching within this 3 meter zone. To confirm this, the distance tool is used, firstly locating the underside surface of the unit and then the perpendicular vertical distance to the floor. 